UNESCO has handed down a bleak new report card on the health of the Great Barrier Reef. Queensland's Environment Minister says fears about the underwater wilderness have been vindicated. More from Katrina Blowers. Good afternoon. Well, a C- minus is what the Queensland Environment Minister gives the Great Barrier Reef, but environmentalists say the latest report card is more like a fail. The snapshot looks at how well the reef is faring as a result of the runoff of pesticides into rivers and catchments and natural events like climate change and floods. It's found that while there have been some improvements towards water quality overall, there's still a long way to go. The inshore marine environment remains poor and pesticide runoff is continuing to trigger crown of thorns starfish outbreaks which makes it difficult for that top layer of the reef to regenerate. While 25 per cent of Queensland farmers have stepped up their farming practices to become reef friendly, a vast number are yet to come on board. The report names the sugarcane industry as the worst offenders. The reef is responsible for generating $6 billion a year towards the Australian economy and in June UNESCO left the reef off its in danger list. The report authors say these results are a wake up call that more needs to be done to get more farmers to rethink their agricultural practices. If one of my kids came home with a report card like this I'd be a bit disappointed. There's more bad news here than good news. But scientists say not all hope is lost. Just due to the changes made over the last five to ten years, they're already seeing a regeneration of seagrass and juvenile coral.